Okay, in this lesson, if you open up the folder number 15 and drag it to Sublime Text, we have a few files and folders in here which we're going to work through. So, first folder you see on the top is Includes folder. Inside the Includes folder, we have our DB Connect. And uh, all the things that you see inside this file is the same thing that we created in the previous videos uh, and how to connect to the database. Uh, the only thing is we <coughs> I removed the if statement on underneath below. We had our if statement, if you remember. I removed it because we no longer use this, use this uh, condition to test our connection here. Let's close this file and uh, close this collapse this enclosed folder. Open up the uh, parse click folder. What we have here, our uh, PHP handler file, SQL session handler here. Uh, I just copy this folder and paste it inside this folder. <clears throat> so we have our session one, session two, and session three. We, we are opening this file here. First thing you realize here, this is the, <coughs> sorry, exactly the same thing that we have for our session uh, form here, which we submit our, uh, entry our name here, and then uh, we hitting submit. It is going to submit the form to session uh, underscore two. So session underscore two here, we have our session uh, start here, and everything else is the same thing. We created these files in chapter, I don't know, two or three, somewhere around there. So let me just open the chapter to show you what we had previously. There we go. Chapter 2, video 5, we had we created all of these sessions here. So I'm using the same thing. And the session number, uh, I mean session underscore 3 dot PHP file, we, ha we are having uh, the same thing. The only difference is we have, instead of, uh, you know, redirecting back to the session number 2, we have our logout. At the moment, it doesn't do anything. So in this, uh, the first session underscore zero one. We don't have to do anything, but if you go to session underscore zero two, we're going to use our include and our uh, you know session handler we already uh, created. So on the top, before session starts, so in here, what we're going to do, we're going to say we're going to use this session. We, we're going to use the uh, class and we're going to require it. So let's say use parse click slash uh, sessions slash uh, my SQL session handler so check to see if, if you're using the same yeah se session handler and then at the end you just have to insert sem semicolon so we're using this namespace because we created already if you remember if you come down here, this is namespace we created. Set parse click session, and then we're using this class session handler. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it, make sure you spell it right. So this is right, and then we're going to require <coughs> once. So let's say require once. Require. So I'm sure in PHP we had something similar. Require once. I mean, in Sublime Text. We have we we have uh, auto complex so something like Rick O something like that it doesn't work really well here maybe hit this one yeah there you go Rec one so do it again Rec one tab yeah we're gonna require this so we you say same folder you don't have to type this but you can go ahead and say include include but to make sure, make, to make sure we have we are in the same uh, page, I'm having this zero slash include. So includes, then double semicolon slash um, db underscore connect. Right. So it was the same name, db connect dot php. So we're gonna copy this and paste this. We're gonna use the parse click and then what are we going to do um, we're going to say sessions capital S slash uh, mysql handler dot php 
there we go. And we're recording this, we're using this namespace, right? What else we need to do? Well, if you come down here, we, we create a variable called handler, and then we're gonna create a new instance from this class, uh, MySQL session handler. So if I type new SQL session handler, and if you remember, this class would set one parameter, uh, and uh, you could pass the database stats to it. But if this this is going to implement implement the session handler interface, and that's why we're using you know initializer. If you look at the initializer initializer method, there's no initializer method right here, but this could accept one parameter for the initialization. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pass the db assign a db variable. So db variable is going to refer to this. Uh, db connect. If you open up this db connect, you can see that we have this db variable here, which is going to require the PDO class to connect to the database. So let me just open this again. The next thing we need to do, we have we had uh, our session underscore set save handler. There we go. And then we had our open close read write destroy and GC. Remember. All we need to do here, we, I said, because we're not using this open, close, read, write, destroy, and garbage collect, we're using this handler. That's what I said. You could go ahead and open, close, read, write, destroy, and session, you know, garbage collect. But the only thing we need to do here, pass this handler right here. That's why we created our class here. If you remember in the uh, previous videos, I said there are two session set safe handler. The first one is something like this. The second one is using a handler and our class. So in the third one, we're going to go ahead and copy all of these and then come back here, paste it right here for the uh, third session. And for the login, I mean, for the logout, because we have our logout page, all we need to do here, I have my uh, logout.txt, which I'm going to copy all of these codes and then come here before um, maybe session start no yeah let's go here and then paste it right here so if the session uh, post logout then session equals to you know um, something empty and then we're gonna sign a params variables session get cookie params and then set cookie session name something empty with a time minus 86400 which refers to 24 hours before the current time and then params and then path params domain secure and http only and then we're going to destroy the session and then redirect back to the session one there's something else i made a mistake here i had to put backslash instead of forward slash so let's just copy this save this and then paste it right here and uh, this is because I'm using Mac and I'm always uh, used to using this slash instead of backslash. If you're using Windows, you know what these are for the uh, you know, directory separators. So if I save this file and then come back here, refresh the page, if I type my name now, Hassan, submit, it says, okay, hello, Hassan. So now let, let's have a look at the uh, database in our PHP My Admin. If I refresh now, you can see that I have session ID. If I maybe make it a little bit bigger, mm, yes, like this maybe. And then the data and expiry date. So you can see that the session ID as well as expiry date and the data. Data is the same, exactly the same thing that you saw in the previous videos that we had first name equals six Hassan. And then we have our session ID. And then expiry is the same as we had, uh, I mean, is the same Unix timestamp, 144. And then if I even refresh right now, you see 878, refresh again, is not change, it's not changing. This is because we're not inserting a new data. So this session is going to expire at a specific time and it's going to be 
be the same until you you know change the session data. So the session data is not uh, changing here, so that's why this expiry is going to stay the same. So if I go to the page three, it says hello stranger, but it ha doesn't have to say like that. Uh, it should say hello your name again. Probably something wrong. But if I refresh now, you see that we have our same session right here. Let me refresh. There we go. Hello, Amir. And so this is going to say hello, Amir. So if I log out now, you can see that we have, we, we redirect back to, uh, you know, the first session. So if you take a peek at in your, uh, there you go. We have three sessions right now. But these are the values that need to be garbage collected. So in the uh, next sessions, I'm going to show you how to auto login and use this garbage collection.